what's up guys so normally when I'm in my car driving around I'm filming myself going on toy hunts well today I'm meeting up with my friend Dustin and we are going on a comic hunt so to speak there is a guy in our area that Dustin happened to meet and he told him that he had 25 copies of CGC graded Spider-Man 300 books you know that's cool great grand wonderful but the red flag is that they're all graded at a 9.5, which they don't make. So it's kind of already BS. But also, allegedly, the guy just bought a storage locker that had over 4,000 comic books. So there's no telling what he has or if it's all 90 books. We don't even know what air it is, if it's silver or copper, anything. So it's all going on a whim. But we're going to go check it out. Maybe we'll get lucky. Dustin has pretty good luck with some scores every once in a while. So we're going to hope that, you know, best case scenario, we get an ASM 300 or some Spider-Man books, and we'll flip them. So we'll check it out. And it wasn't just comics. It was all uh, bigger. Yeah. Cheap old. You got the Pulp Fiction one? I think Pulp Fiction one's a lot later. I don't think that one's. Yeah. Yeah. I had a all my grades one. I don't even have it in my mind cell now. I understand that. I mainly just, yeah, I kind of wanted to sell them. I got a climate control building behind my house where I keep the air and all. Flip through it again. I'm filming it. Okay. Yeah, you're retired now, too. Okay, I'll start out 10 grand. Okay, well, it's been nice talking to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said to throw a number out there. <laughs> you know it's part of the haggling deal. Man. Oh, that Nobody old day center letter with there. sugars on it. Oh. <laughs> so we're saying there's 4,000 plus or so? Or who, yeah. Yeah. who do we um, own now? I mean, Minimum, I think there's at least 4,000. Just the boxes, yeah, yeah. which I'm assuming they're full. They hold 200. There's 18 of those. That's 3,600 comics right there. Anywhere from 4 to 6. I, 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 I think, be, yeah, they're somewhere around there. Yeah, I'd, I'd be comfortable guess. at 30 cents a book. That was it. We'll get them out of there. 20 cents a book. So we've got, what, four long boxes in your car already? And then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 18 total. All right, 18 long boxes. And all these small boxes. So it's a monster daredevil run. And it's all in high grade. Well, I say monster, but it's definitely late daredevil. No first electra though. But they're all beautiful. So this is actually the second and third car trip of the 4,000 comic book lot. Uh, not 4,000, try 6 to 8,000. But, we got a lot of work to do. <sighs> Alright, so we've got 17 long boxes, and I couldn't even tell you how many of these, but we just got most of it loaded in. We got one more load. Well, so far, we've seen a bunch of, bunch of garbage, but hopefully there's some some good stuff in this. Sorry it's dark, but it's the back of our office. We are going to uh, get it moved upstairs, start sorting it, and showing you what we got. How it we just started going through the first long box. Teenage Mutant number, number two. Number three. Number four. Number five, holy hell. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number twelve. Thirteen. Well, we're just getting started. All four of them, high grade. All right, guys, we had to take a pretty long break. Everybody had to go separate ways for a little bit, but now we're back at it, and we're still going through the sorting process and trying to figure out what all we just bought. 
So, about to grab long boxes, carry them up a giant flight of stairs, and keep looking. This is the good stack of different keys, various runs, stuff we gotta sort through and keep. This is everything else that can go. Four hours later. 8,000 books, you think? How many Eight, books? 8,000, every bit of them. All right, we'll start again tomorrow, yeah? Yeah. Hey guys, I just want to give a quick summary of where we're at on all of this because if I don't go ahead and break it down into two different parts, it's going to end up being an hour long video, if not more. So just to recap everything that's happened so far, we found a storage locker here out of West Monroe, Louisiana. We bought it from the person the same day that they acquired it. Went through, we sorted everything, tried to find what we had, what we didn't have. And now we are at a point to where we've pulled all the big keys. And what is about to happen is we are going to have a draft. So Dustin, Zach, and myself, since we went in thirds on this rental unit, we are going to take the time and go through and put, find what we want for our personal collections. We're going to have kind of a fantasy football style mock draft. So what that is is we're going to take everything that we want specifically for us and put to the side and then like fantasy football you every we're gonna have like first pick second pick third pick and then take turns going around picking stuff out for our personal collections which i'm gonna film that and that's gonna be part two of this little series that way it'll make things a little bit easier to digest it's not going to be such a long video and not nowhere near as long as drawn out and also with part two you can go ahead and get to the meat and potatoes but I will tell you some of the big, big, huge keys that came from this lot. You got what if Jane Foster was Thor, which is super hot right now because you have the Thor God of Thunder movie coming out. There was the first Crow. Dustin's super excited about that. Um, there was for, for forever, forever people number one. So you had first full Dark Side, um, first appearance of Deathlock. Two copies of Killing Jokes. Batman Adventures number 12. First Harley Quinn. That was in there. That was one of the bigger books that might get set to the side. Because I'm not sure if any of us really want that. And it will make it easier for us to get our return on everything. Um, some Spawn books. I know Spawn books are pretty big. Um, there was a Tales to Astonish run that had First Abomination. I know I'm going to be going for that one pretty hard. And there's a lot. There's probably 200 keys, probably 250 minor keys all in that. Now, granted, about 100 of them are 5 to $10 range. Jason Todd, there's first Jason Todd, a killer, killer run of Batman and Detective Comics that goes between pretty much when Jason Todd starts up until almost every issue of Teen Titans minus Deathstroke and Robin becoming Nightwing. There, there's just so much oh ninja turtles there's a freaking huge ninja turtles run so there's a ninja turtles number one fourth print that uh i think is issue seven with the second printing and Ka and kang on the cover i know i want that for my personal collection um dark horse alien one number one which is really hot because aliens going over to marvel i want that for me i have a giant alien tattoo on my leg of the xenomorph so i, I want that personally a lot of books I plan on getting graded and eventually just either flipping or keeping for myself because this is a really great find. There's a huge Daredevil run with Frank Miller's uh, writing in it and artwork. Not really artwork. Anyway, Frank, the Frank Miller run on Daredevil. There's a huge lot of Frank Miller's Daredevil and it's all high, high grade. You've got the complete one through four Wolverine Frank Miller run high grade we're talking like nine sixes especially that black cover that whole set looks phenomenal uh the punisher solo war series with him holding the gun with beautiful artwork i'm definitely going in for that but yeah so that's where we're at it's cop bronze copper and early 90s keys every big key you can think of is almost in there so 
we're going to have a draft and we're going to see what's happened. But that is going to conclude part one. And I really hope you guys check out part two because that is going to be the meat and potatoes. That is going to be the best part of all of this is when we get to enjoy the haul. So thank you guys. Be safe out there. It's getting cold. So be safe for the holidays. Bundle up. And Merry Christmas.